And um, Gemma asks about vitamin D. I always hear about that. Is is it important that I take that? So vitamin D is one of the only supplements that I recommend pretty much everyone to take. Um, of course, it is something that you need to discuss with your care team. They can draw some blood and check your levels. Um, but most people, especially here in the U.S., um, are really low in vitamin D. And vitamin D is kind of like a workhouse horse of the body. Um, we used to think that it was really only involved in like bone health um, and teeth health, but it's it's tied to immunity, it's tied to respiratory function, um, it's tied to different kinds of cell prol proliferation. So for cancer causing or cancer prevention, um, it's super important. Um, so most people, I recommend to take a vitamin D supplement. You wanna take vitamin D uh, three, um, that's the one that's best absorbed by the body. Um, but you should always talk to your care team and see how much you should be taking. Um, but I would definitely, that one, that one's the one that I tell people to take. <laughs> The other one, I'll just, I'll just say the other one that I usually tell people to take is omega-3, a fish oil supplement, um, because most people aren't actually eating enough fatty cold water fish. Um, so you want to take somewhere um, between, um, between two and three grams of fish oil a day. But fish oil is also something that interacts with your medication. So as always, talk to your care team before you start taking any supplements. Yeah, absolutely.